Good afternoon. We are the head working group working to uh, develop, specify, build tools for, and promote the use of hierarchical event descriptors, HED or HED, uh, to annotate the timeline of archived time series neuroimaging data. So there's a, currently there's a large gap in data sharing standards. Current data sharing uh, is developing cross-platform data set formatting standards, notably the BIDS effort. And they provide standards for basic high-level annotation, who, how, when, where, etc. But there are two distinct lacks in their approach at the moment. Neural archives now support search and analysis at the individual data set level only. This is still the, the uh, concept that determines how events are recorded and annotated. There is no standard for recording details of participant experience and actions during the recording in a common language across studies, across experiments, across designs. This makes neuroimaging across studies, for example, using new statistical and machine learning methods, uh, practically infeasible. Now, analysis-ready or meta-analysis-ready shared data should really include detailed, unambiguous event and time structure descriptions that enable data search based on the details of the nature of the experience events and conditions and actions and eventually of the tasks that the, that the participants are performing. The tools should also maintain awareness of the context in which each of these uh, occurs. Our claim is that combined hierarchical event descriptors, HED plus BIDS, provide a practical path to data sharing and anal of, of analysis-ready data. Okay, so now how to record the nature of events experienced by participants? Um, well, first of all, one needs to ask the question, what is an event? Event annotations link participant experience to recorded data. But current practice relies primarily on magic numbers, such as event type 37, and local lab jargon, such as event type target, to label experimental events and conditions. So data analysts must now assemble and interpret available information about experimental events, then write custom code for each archive data set they wish to analyze. This makes analysis across data sets infeasible. So third generation HED to the rescue. It's first important to understand what is an event and what, is the, what are the salient features of events. This is a timeline of an experiment in which uh, the, the subject or participant uh, sees dots appear on a touch screen and reaches out to touch them. Simple experiment design. We must distinguish between two, uh, two things event processes themselves, and event phase markers. Event processes include the display of an image, here a dot, during a, a, a certain portion of the timeline. The subject beginning and eventually ending a reaching movement. And the, t the uh, experimental task condition, the reaching task, uh, onset and offset. Event processes always unfold across time, short or long spans of time. 
Event phase markers, on the other hand, point to single points in time that represent a critical phase in an event process. So for instance, the onset of the suddenly displayed dot image. Phase markers, and particularly onset phase markers, receive annotations. This shows a, a rudimentary head annotation for this uh, event. But event offsets also are critical points in the, in, the, in the process and receive also head tags. During the reaching movement, the subject was, was observed to make a course correction, reaching out and then deviating so as to hit the target. This was found in the motion capture data or in the video data post hoc and uh, added as an annotation to the data. Course correction is then a, a third critical phase in the action event of reaching. And, and it accordingly has its own marker and its own head tag. Task condition has an onset and an onset description of what task it is and an offset with an offset description. Uh, in 2019, the BID Steering Committee accepted HED tagging and annotation under all the BID standards as currently the only method for annotating events and time structure in a common language. And last year, the head working group uh, released uh, a new specification with major advances, the third generation head. This, these include uh, having a, a rule that in this head dictionary or head schema, a term can appear in only one place. This means that if you annotate the word circle, it expands by automatically to its hierarchical representation in the head dictionary. Secondly, event phases, event onsets and offsets, etc., are now, now implemented. And third, you, uh, combining use of head with bids event annotation, annotators can still use lab jargon in bids event tables, for instance, targets, because they can define target in uh, the JSON files in terms of its exact head annotation for their particular experiment. What kind of stimulus is it, what, etc. And the head tools will take this short form annotation and produce a full a full head annotation for use by search tools to search various categories of events within studies or across studies. There's also definitions. One can say, well, during this portion of the trial, there was a circle only, and define it once in using head uh, string as a head string here, and then use that in the events.tsv file of bids uh, as a as an easy to remember and understand way of, annot of annotating the experiment using lab jargon, but with its translation into common language HED. So now I want to uh, introduce Kate Robbins, uh, who will give a much more practical introduction to using HED.